Welcome to McNack's Kitchen. Today we're gonna do something that Denise is so excited about. We're gonna kill a lobster. <laughs> this this is pretty much my worst nightmare. But Melissa says everyone needs to know how to kill a lobster humanely. So yes. we're gonna do it. Word, word probably got around that hey, if you end up in a bag, you're gonna end up dead. And there's nothing like fresh lobster. And let, and let me just. This is really gonna gross you out. Yes, there is. <laughs> you want a glass? You want a glass of that? Or you're just gonna drink, drink okay. it. Drink right, it. When you kill them, they'll still have some nervous reflex, and the, they'll still moving. And when you pull off the tail and cut it open, you'll actually see the meat throbbing a little. If you can cook it right then, it is. I mean, it's delicious. It's fresh. <laughs> this is aged to perfection. <laughs> I'm all good. Aged to perfection. <laughs> These are aged. This one's so old, she's got two barnacles on her. She's got some friends hanging out. Oh, so that's Melissa and that's Denise. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> We've got to find out if they're boys or girls first. How can you tell? Really? Seriously? Both girls. Yeah, they just put their hands up and said, okay, whatever. <laughs> Girls have hairy legs. Ew. Hairy legs. Oh, God. Oh. Boys don't have hairy legs. So, yes. And that is the only difference. Um, there's parts, too, <laughs> that do to, to make them a little different. Ew. All right. So, we need to name them. They're both girls. Uh, Thelma and Louise. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, totally. Thelma and Louise. <laughs> Lobsters. We don't like to try to kill these things in a pot of boiling water. We're gonna do it in a nice, humane way. You know, because it bothers me that people like to kill lobsters by just putting them in a pot of boiling water. And that's the only way I ever knew. I'm choosing the guillotine. Quick, painless. But you still know that you're gonna die. You have to put your- But I have a real brain, these guys don't. No real brain here. That's because it's an oversized roach. <laughs> well, you know, roaches don't taste <laughs> that good, and nor do they cost $12.99 a pound. $12.99? This, this $12.99 a pound? Yeah. So, so, so how much for both of these? Yeah, about 38 bucks. Do you know what I can get for 38 bucks? What? Come right I can get at least this, and this is also a very good dinner. <laughs> and I don't have to touch it, it doesn't smell. But it doesn't it's, taste it's, good! It, so you, you go kill those roaches. Yeah. <laughs> if it's a roach, I'm stepping on it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Crunch. Crunch. Well, that's what this is going to sound like. It, it, Do I, have to, I don't have to listen. You got earplugs? I can go like this. La, 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 la. <laughs> okay, so are you about ready to start killing them? Yeah, I think so. I think it's time. I'm okay. hungry. Okay, um, before you do that, it's, it's time. I, um, time for what? I need a glass of wine because these things are so nasty. And if you're going to make me listen to the crunch and all that, <laughs> Hello! So they're nice and calm. And, that's really, and, they're, and well, that really didn't stink up your, your freezer? No. Why would it? Because it's seafood and seafood smells. No, seafood's not supposed to smell. Rotten seafood smells. Fresh seafood does not. Oh, then I guess I've only been around rotten seafood my Evidently. entire life. So let's get to it. The only thing you need after you let them numb in the freezer for a couple minutes is a nice big knife psycho style. <laughs> but that's the sound that they make when they're going in a pot of boiling water. You ever put them in a boil of water or some people put them in cold water and let the water come up to temperature so they're like, oh, it's just like a bath is getting too warm kind of thing. Um, you will hear these things screech. I never hear that growing up. It's, it's, that's really gross. Alright, so when you look at the head of these things, oh, sorry, <laughs> Denise. <laughs> when you look at the head, there is like this whole section here. Um, mm -hmm. And the, the part in the back, um, and there's a little crease, and there's like a, you see that little line? 
right there. You need your reading glasses. Oh, shut up. Um, there's a little line yeah. here, and there's a little line here. You're, we're gonna put the, the knife right cut. There. Yeah, that's kind of like thinking of like the base of your deck, you know. And, it, oh, and you're gonna put it in is, there, and that is sweet. Mm -hmm, and just so nice. crunch it down. And crunch it. I mean, it's instantaneous. So. Okay, so I promised Melissa I wouldn't be such a girl about this. Not nothing than all the girls. Um, for those of you who don't know. I'm sure you can tell by now, I'm not a seafood lover. I'm not a seafood liker. I really prefer never to have it in my world, but Melissa makes it be in my world, so here we go. Um, but as you can see, I'm guarded because it's gonna freak me out. Yeah. I'll use my hand covered in a towel. Oh, come on. Which already has lobster juice on it. That's cool. Just gentle. You can do it. I don't want to do it. shot here. This is a, kind of where you want to really concentrate on is that little spot right there. Okay. That's kind of the central part of the nervous system. Do I have to look? All right. You got you to gotta look. It's gonna, it's gonna, is it going to be sploogy? It's, it's gonna, it is going to be a little sploogy. Wait, and it's watching. It's watching, but it doesn't know. It doesn't understand. It's watching me watching it. Yeah. All right. Ew. Let's do this. You ready? Ah! No. Ew, I still heard it. Oh, my God. Done. The things, oh. it's not alive anymore. So then I can take off its claws. It has no pain now. Yep. Nice and quick. Crunch. Through the head, no pain anymore. <clears throat> Just twist those off. Same thing with the tail. You're going to kind of go two different motions here. Get that? Oh, yep. I'm going to keep the splooge over the <laughs> cutting oh. board. And you're just going to twist and pull this too. Oh. Okay. And that's the splooge we don't want. Oh. All right. What was that? No, actually, I don't want to know. You don't want to know. All right. So now we've got. <clears throat> now see how it's still kind of throbbing. It's just a nervous reflex. It's kind of like a chicken running around with his head cut off, which it really does do when you cut a chicken's head off. It does actually run around still. Hey, um, shocker! Never, never saw that. Never, yeah. Never, well, I've never yeah. seen it either. But all right. So that's one. Okay. Uh, okay. Wait. Actually, you know what? What? Do me a favor. I'm Here. gonna get rid of that. Green, gooey okay. stuff. <laughs> okay, so so you, you see how, how you did that twisting motion? Uh-huh. Here. Wipe your hands on that. Go go get go get that over there. And, and, see, and, and, and see, see what else you can twist off even eat more. There you go. There even the same motion. Even more right. easily. There, there you go. go. There you go. All there you right. Go. Here you go, Denise. Yeah, there you go. This is fantastic. You ready? Yeah. Quick and painful. Are you kidding me? No, that hurt me. <laughs> it is a little sad to kill one of God's creatures, you know? But but when they look like that, it, it's, I mean, it, come it on. feels a little less bad. And, and seriously, although it, it, it's still moving, they, it really isn't alive. Okay. And if you keep the tail together underneath like this, it's kind of spiky right there, so it hurts a little bit if you were to grab it with your hand. So again, oh. twist. Pull, discard that, and you get this nice, beautiful lobster tail. Oh. All right, now we can eat. Wait, aren't you going to cook it? I am. Oh. Well, you said now, now we can eat. Well, I'm well, going to make sure takes, you're going to cook it first. It takes, even, even I know that that would be nasty. It only takes a few minutes. Um, I'm going to steam these. <clears throat> I usually like to grill them, but I'm going to steam these today because I'm actually going to make like a lobster roll salad. <laughs> of course, yeah. 
And you're going to use the claws too? Oh yeah. Do you steam the claws and the tail together? Yeah. Through the air. Go through the, off the Grand Canyon, whatever. Yeah. But when they went to the bottom of the canyon, this is what they found. Fan. body. Louise's body. <laughs> Arms everywhere. But you know what though? Like, I like to think that that actually didn't happen in the end of that movie. I like to think that they just, just kept flying. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Oh. Keep dreaming. I, I tell you, you know, it is so fabulous to be in my brain sometimes. It, it, it really is. <laughs> All right. Well, these, uh, these little girls are going for their steam bath. They're going for their day at the spa now. So I've got um, a bunch of sea salt, water that's boiling, and then a lemon in here. And we're going to put this in here. What should we do? Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Time for Denise to have some more wine. I have not actually. The sound had of that crunch is yet. still in your ear, isn't it? It's going to be in my in my ear. You're going to have a nightmare morning. tonight. Yes. Cheers to you. There mm -hmm. you go. Congratulations. I'm just getting excited about my lobster. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it's been about six eight minutes for this bad boy, and uh, it's all done. Tails curled. They're nice and orange. Lots of yumminess. I mean, I could have, if you don't want it to curl up, um, you uh, can put a skewer through this. But that's pretty much how you know. It's kind of like a shrimp. I mean, it, once it turns the letter C means cooked. And I, that one huh. may be a little bit overcooked, even. You know, I like that. The mm -hmm. C means cooked. Yeah, so you just want it to be a gentle C, not closed up like an O. Like, that might be a little too much. So a soft C, not a hard C. <clears throat> yeah, because that mm -hmm. really tells you how long it, I mean, a lot of people overcook their seafood in a... Overcooked seafood is like overcooking a filet mignon, and if you're going to have lots no. of... No! Uh, exactly! Oh my... The blasphemy was... Oh, jeez. So, all right, let me get these guys out of the stew. It's hot. It's hot. It's still hot. Ow! <laughs> Do you know it's not hot? White wine. And look at that, Sebastian, all chopped up into a nice several <laughs> pieces. Poor Sebastian. Poor Sebastian. I like it. Okay. Oh, so you're going to crack it? Is it going to make that noise again? It is. Oh, don't. Stop. But it's, it's not alive anymore. Oh, Jesus. He's not here to help you. Oh. Nor is he going to feel bad for you. I mean, you just hack into that like that. nobody's business. Perfect, buttery deliciousness. OMG. I know. OMG. That is going to be good, good, good. It's good to have a good knife. Yeah. Giant. Oh, Where's my clothes then? <laughs> oh, man. Where's my butter? There's my butter. <laughs> See, all this stuff that's flying. It's just water. All, all, it, but that is reason number, I don't know. 5,000 for you. Yes. Because I don't want that stuff all over me. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Got the whole bad boy out on that one. That? Where is it? What? You eat that. Yeah. This is this part that's in the <laughs> down here is not my favorite part. The texture's a little weird. Uh, you think? One. You think? Rock on. Rock Woo! on with your bad self. Oh, yeah. Gosh, that looks good. Can I eat some now, Denise? Yes, you may. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh, that is heaven. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye from McNack's Kitchen. Bye.